welcome to Significant TV, significant stories from significant entrepreneurs. I'm your host, Fran McNeil, and joining me in the studio today is Tanya T. Morris, speaker, mentor, coach, author of The Power of Tea. Tanya, welcome. Thank you, Fran. Thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Oh, my pleasure. Well, first of all, we've known each other a number of years, That's right. and I want to publicly say thank you for being supportive. Yes. You know, when I first started my business here in Philadelphia, you were one of the first folks that hired me as a speaker. <laughs> And, you know, it's kind of cool to be supported not only by the community, yeah. but by an individual that believes in you. Absolutely, so, absolutely. Well, yes. you know, you were my first business coach, mm -hmm. you know, I tell people that all the time. So you're doing some amazing things, some significant things. So I'm really excited about all the things that you're doing as well. So thank you. Thank you. Well, Tanya, aside from the great jewelry, which you <laughs> shared with me that your stylist lent you yes. because she's part of your branding crew, That's it. That's um, it. I, I really wanted to start off asking, how did you go from being Tanya T. Morris to developing this whole concept of the power of the tea? You know, it's funny because for a long time, people have always talked about, you know, me being passionate and being mm -hmm. a, a powerful speaker and, and, and the mentoring and the books all always were secondary. I never wanted to be an author. Mm -hmm. I tell people all the time when I was in college, I wanted to be the female Spike Lee. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I wanted to make I wanted to make movies. That was what I wanted to do and it just you know, the chips fell where they did. I, you know, started being a newspaper reporter first and then ended up in a nonprofit sector doing you know, community engagement and case management and that was really the um, infancy and the development process of this of this power of the T brand, which is really all about changing lives and, and making an impact on individuals as well as our community. Mm -hmm. And you've done that in so many ways and reflecting also what I think is very powerful on your personal life, incorporating some of the journey that you've gone through um, and sort of saying to folks, this is what I've done, yeah. this is where I've struggled, yeah. um, this is where I've overcome. Yeah. Take, us, take us through some of that. Well, you know, it's funny. Um, Writing a book, I, I don't I hope you don't have to always have to go through something <laughs> in order true. to write a book, that's but it true. just seems like that's kind of what happened, you know, <laughs> right. with, um, you know, with my first book, really, it was really about um, this young man that I was mentoring when I was at, um, you know, a local halfway house and having this conversation with him. And he was like, Miss Mars, you know, you could be like Les Brown and them, you know, mm -hmm. and I never thought about it. And mm -hmm. so, you know, divine inspiration really came out of that, out of the relationship that I had with Vernon, the mentoring relationship that I had with Vernon. And um, and then Drop Your Baggage is really, I think, and I was just talking to somebody about this yesterday, that I'm amazed that people still love that little book. Drop Talk your baggage, the yeah. just get over it makeover. People still <laughs> buy it. They still love that little book. And that was really the story of the makeover process that I went through when I lost my house, you know, mm -hmm. and that whole experience of recreating yourself and rebranding yourself despite the obstacles that you face, you know. Mm -hmm. And I've had people tell me they never would have known that I was going through the foreclosure process mm -hmm. because I carried it with such grace. And mm -hmm. um, that's just a testimony that's not, you know, it just, you know, the chips fell where they may. Um, and that's really that experience. And then, you know, the power of one, I think, kind of brings it all together. You know, the the stewardship of being a single mom and raising my sons to be productive citizens and uh, the mentoring relationships with the young ladies that I've had along the way and helping them start businesses and accomplish their goals. And then the leaders that have had an impact on me both you know, spiritually, personally, and professionally. Mm -hmm. So I think the power of one kind of brings all of those experiences together, which is what makes it, you know, a, a great book. It does, it does. I'm gonna have you take us back a little bit. You okay. talked about the fact that you um, have been involved in the nonprofit world. What was that significant moment that took you from being working for someone else to saying, I'm gonna work for myself, I'm gonna create you know, my own space and speak through my own voice. I think that came, that significant moment for me was um, the mentoring relationship that I had um, 
with a couple young ladies while mm -hmm. I was at Wawa, what is now Pathways PA, right. um, where we had you come and, and, right. and do one of our employee retreats. I think that was the significant moment where I was able to say, you know what, um, I'm going to not only am I going to write books, but I really want to begin to do community engagement and mentoring on another level mm -hmm. that really makes a significant impact on mm -hmm. the lives of individuals where I could give them more of myself. Mm -hmm. So, you know, during that time when I was working with, you know, a couple young ladies that were just in transition, and that's really my piece is really, that was what I saw was that I was really able to step in where somebody was in transition mm -hmm. and really help them navigate to that next place that they wanted to be in life and how could I make a difference and make an impact the best way that I could do that was to come out of the nonprofit sector come out of a nine-to-five and be able to avail myself to more people mm -hmm. and being able to do that now I'm sure some people are wondering what does in transition mean yeah. what does a young yeah. lady in transition yeah. can you give a specific yeah. example without yeah violating yeah. confidentiality. So, you know, I think that being in transition is just being in that place where you really don't know where you want to where you want to be, mm -hmm. where you want to go personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. Um and needing someone to walk you through that process of the next step. So, and I was, you know, I was just having this conversation the other day. That's what case management is, yes. really in a nonprofit sector. It's really meeting a person where they are and walking with them through that transition to the place where they really want to be um, personally and professionally. So um, with some ladies, it may have been drug addiction. It may have been meeting them in that place of drug addiction. For other ladies, it may have been that broken, bad relationship with their parents, mm -hmm. meeting them in that place and walking them through that pain to be able to function. Mm -hmm. Because some aren't even able to function because they're carrying around so much grief and so much hurt and uh, so much resentment. So walking them through that place. For some, it has been losing what they thought was that dream job, right? So mm -hmm. we had the recession. People were, you know, losing jobs left and right, and they never thought that they could come back from that. Mm -hmm. So walking some through that to launch a business, you know, to really get to that next that next place to where they could really have an impact, not only on the lives of others, but really um, having an impact on them, themselves as well, right. being able right. to change their lives as well. So that's really that, that transition point, that place of being stuck, mm -hmm. you know, and then being able, and I've noticed even in my professional career, I have always been a part of a new initiative. Mm -hmm. Yes. And that's part of that transition too, right? Yes. So like with the Campaign for Working Families, you know, their whole outreach and the whole initiative of being able to do taxes free for low and moderate mm -hmm. income families, mm -hmm. you know, I was I was there. I yep. initiated that whole process. That was mm -hmm. that was my baby. I tell people mm -hmm. all the time that was my baby. Um, to go into ECA when they mm -hmm. were doing, you know, sustainability was beginning to get this built this this movement of sustainability. I was there for that and launching mm -hmm. that. And then just even recently with Turning Points for Children and this new model, this community-based DHS model, mm -hmm. they didn't know how to go into the community, where to start it, how to do it. I was instrumental in doing that. And then finally just, you know, walking away and taking all of those experiences now and being able to avail myself in a unique and a different way so that people can experience the power of the tea. So. That's <laughs> wonderful. That's so. wonderful. Well, you had this uh, excellent, I thought, um, celebration when your book came out. Uh, show everyone your book and, and give us some highlights and why the book is, is so impactful. So the power of one. How to impact lives by first changing your own. And I really, you know, I think this is the best book that I've written, honestly. Mm -hmm. I really, mm -hmm. really do. And I think it's the best book I've written because, again, it brings together all of those experiences. Um, we talk about stewardship, which is really, you know, nothing but a fancy word for parenting. Mm -hmm. You know, and I talk about the relationship that I have with my children. But the bulk of the book is really this mentoring relationship. Um, that we really look at. And again, uh, when I met 
um, Samia, who I started the girlification, mm -hmm. the t-shirt company with, I've known her since she was a teenager. Right. Uh, she used to wash my hair, you mm -hmm. know, at the, at, the, <laughs> at the salon, and she had this idea for a t-shirt company, didn't know how to start it, didn't know what to do with it, and, and you know, we were able to take that that idea that she had and really create this brand designed to inspire girls and young women to be ladylike and mm -hmm. um, and so it really grew out of a, a mental relationship and it wasn't just that and so now you know something that she never thought she wanted to do she has the t-shirt company she's a, a hairstylist full-time now went back mm -hmm. to school and got her license you know and it's just amazing she lives upstairs in my house <laughs> so <it's, laughs> Okay, so she's really going for that supportive yes, mentoring. You know, so it's like she's she's there for the long haul. So, you know, that mentoring piece, but I really think my favorite part of the book really is the last chapters where we look at the leadership and the impact that James Dell Robinson has had on my life, Gene Hunt, mm -hmm. um, who I actually just worked together again with on the soda tax campaign. Mm -hmm. um, and then while I was at Turning Points, I met Kim Washington, who's executive mm -hmm. director uh, for the Franklin CDC and seeing somebody so passionate talk about the role that economic development can play in communities like like Frankfurt um, mm -hmm. and making sure that that includes job creation and fair housing and those things because if not you just have gentrification you mm -hmm. know and so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that really I think is my favorite part of the book really hearing those leaders and Judy Wicks and mm -hmm. you know hearing them talk about those different things and and how you can really really make a difference and an impact on the lives of people um, in a unique way, and really, and really be, be, and it can be a significant impact. Absolutely, you know, when you invest your time and your talents, and you know your your experiences into to individuals and communities and organizations. Clearly, there's more ahead for you. Uh, perhaps another book. You're certainly doing public speaking. How can people get in touch with you? So you can reach me at www.thepowerofthetea.com. Tanya at thepowerofthetea.com. You can go to the website actually and download a free chapter right now um, by you know signing up. I have a major, major, and this friends audience will be the first to hear about a major event we're doing um, called Books and Beauties, where we're going to pair authors up with beauty experts mm. um, to really make an impact for Domestic Violence Awareness Month in October. So oh. we're really, really excited about that. I started another uh, project with uh, Sherry Williams, who's the uh, wife of State Senator Anthony Williams, and we do an event called Woman Up that we mm -hmm. do for Women's History Month, and we talk about, you know, raising awareness of women there. And so, you know, we got some things coming up that we're really excited about, doing some online courses through Teachable. So we got some things coming mm. up that we're excited oh. about. Oh, pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. You you never stop. I, 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 I try not to, friend. I got to keep it moving. Got to keep it moving. So. Totally, totally. What advice? We have just about a minute left. Okay. What advice do you have for folks so that they can really leverage the power of one? I, I think my my advice would be one: find an amazing mentor. Just mm -hmm. you know, find somebody that loves you, believes in you, and supports you. Mm -hmm. um, and my other advice would be to speak your truth. Mm. You know, don't be afraid to speak your truth and to share your truth at every opportunity that you that you're given. That's it. I it ain't it ain't deep for me. It's real simple. <laughs> <laughs> share your truth. Find an amazing mentor and um and go and go go make an impact. Go be significant. I love it. <laughs> I can't argue. Count me in for those yes. uh, upcoming events, yes. October and February. Yes. Thank you so much Thank for being for a guest on the me. show. It's always good to talk to you. Yeah. Friend. We'll catch up yeah. real soon. We, we need to yeah. make more happen. Yeah. And uh, the work that you're doing is, is significant. It's very powerful. And again, I just look forward to yes. what else you're going to be doing. We share some common friends, yep, and we we're going to have to get a get yep, together. Yes, bring we have everyone to, we together. We got to bring it together real soon. So Terrific. Thank you so much. My first business coach. Ah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. That's right. And thank you again for thank my you. first opportunity yes. with you. Well, folks, there you have it. Significant TV, significant stories, significant entrepreneurs. Our guest today is Tanya T. Morris. You can find her at powerofthetea.com. Thepowerofthetea.com. Terrific. So continue to join us as we share significant stories from significant entrepreneurs.